is JB, Ghost of Holics, Devil Dog Paranormal Research Team. We're here at this 12,000 plus square foot mansion tonight conducting a full scale paranormal investigation. We have about 25 guests that are going to show up tonight. Ultimate members, people who want to be members, are going to help us investigate. We've got the attic where one of our members were pushed last year. We've got the Underground Railroad where we actually caught the face of a slave last year. We've got the rest of the mansion that's booming with activity. We've got this landmass here, about two acres. On the back side is a small graveyard where children are said to be buried that once lived in this 250-year-old mansion. This was the Iron Furnace. They did metal, cannonballs, rounds for Revolutionary War soldiers. This place is booming with activity. Next to me, I've got one of my top investigators. Thanks, Jared. Dennis Miller here. Like he said, one of, one of the lead investigators here at DDPRT. This is my second time here. I'll tell you what, the first time was off the hook, man. We had some serious stuff. We had people pushed. Um, like he said, you had faces, some good pictures, some good EVPs. So uh, I'm hoping at least round two for me is like gonna be uh, gonna be nuts, okay? With the surrounding here, the atmosphere we got, it's uh, it's pretty eerie out here. So we'll see what we got. Let's get ready for the lockdown. The isolation part's gonna be crazy. Are you ready? We wanted to step outside. We took a minute, to snag the star of our show. Who's always the star of our show? Goes to Hollis. Battabella. Battabella, you got a few words to say about tonight? Yeah, I'm here at the mansion. I'm excited, uh, and I'm also going to be conducting readings tonight at the mansion, and I'm just excited. I'm excited to be here. It's a pleasure. You happy to have her here, Dennis? Uh, always. Can't be anything, you know, without her. What do you think about the isolation part? I think it's going to be isolation. <laughs> Isolated. Isolation. Are you up for it? Dennis, are you up for it? I'm always up for it. The question is, are you up for it? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's Madame Della. I'm here at um, the Haunted Mansion, and uh, this is our third time around. I'm looking forward to a night full of activity. It is a full moon, and I'm conducting readings at the mansion also. That's it. Thank you. This is the mansion. Dennis is going to take you on a quick tour of this beautiful mansion that we're about to conduct this paranormal investigation. It's going to be awesome. Dennis is going to give you a little tidbit here and there as he does the tour. Stay tuned. where the Underground Railroad is. Hopefully I'll be locked down there later. It's where they hid the slaves. Another room in the mansion.
I have plenty of activity in this room. We personally had uh, experiences with um, yeah, Ghost Meter Pro and some EVPs. Some of the history of the old mansion. How they actually made ammo for the war, which killed a lot of people, which has some residual to it. Third floor. Second time around, this is the attic where my team members got pushed several times. As you can see how dark it is. Contact with the, uh, the elder man that lived here. Did not appreciate having the, uh, the couple in here and pro continually to uh, push the, uh, the members of the team, physically push them. And another storage part. basement. We will be down there. In the kitchen. I was in here when this sink here actually turned on and nobody else was in here. We're upstairs in this big mansion at this point. We're going to introduce our guests who showed up and wanted to sacrifice themselves. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to start over here on this corner here. I'm who Stephanie. are you? I'm Stephanie. And this is my second year at the mansion. I had that experience this last year, so hopefully this year I have more. I'm Debbie, and I just heard some nuns outside, so I'm, I'm excited. I'm Maria. This is my first year here. I'm very excited, and hopefully we'll get some action. I'm Mark. This is also my first year, and I'm very excited to be here, and hopefully we'll get some good action. I'm Mary. This is my third year here, and definitely had quite a lot of action. <laughs> I'm Megan. This is my second year, and hopefully I can get bit again. I'm Serena. This is my third time here. Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm Diane, and this is my first year here. I'm looking forward to experiencing some paranormal. Frank, first year here. I just uh, want to see some stuff. I'm Christina, it's my first year here. <laughs> I'm Diane, this is my third time here, and hopefully there'll be lots of activity. I'm Fred. This is my third time here. Hopefully, we'll find some activity too. Hi, I'm Marie. This is my first time here, and um, maybe a ghost will take my husband. Can we switch seats? <laughs> I'm Frankie, and I want to go to the cemetery, the graveyard, or wherever it is. It sounds fun. I'm Frank, first time here, and I'd like to see some action. I'm Shelby, this is my first year here, and not really sure what to expect. I'm Sean, this is my first year here at the mansion, and I'm looking forward to hearing some sounds. My name's Kevin, this is my third time here at the mansion, and I'm just going to see what's in store for us tonight. 
I'm Kim, and this is my third time here, and I hope to God we don't have the same problem we had last time. I'm Robert. It's my first time here. Looking forward to investigating with DDPRT. Hi, I'm Lisa. My first time here. Just can't wait to see what comes. I'm Danielle. It's my first year here, and I'm looking forward to... Well, I'm not looking forward to being scared. <laughs> I'm Nikki, um, it's my first year in here, and I'm really excited to be isolated in the basement by myself. <laughs> I'm Alexandra, it's my first time here, and I'm just really excited to experience things tonight. <laughs> Dennis, this is your eighth time here, though. <laughs> Dennis Miller, one of the lead investigators here. Uh, this is my second time here, I can make it every time. But, uh, every time I was here, good stuff, man, good stuff. So, your fingers crossed. I'm Michael. This is my second time here. I uh, had a lot of activity last year, and hopefully we'll get some more this year. He's going to be isolated. <laughs> <laughs> this night is rocking. We've split up into our teams. Dennis's team is outside first. They're going to investigate the hearse that's here that's in service right now. It delivered a body today to a cemetery. Then he came here tonight for us to investigate. They're going to investigate the, the haunted cemetery out back and the haunted stables. My team is up here in the attic. Fred's team downstairs in the basement. In about 30, 35 minutes, we're going to switch up. Let's get isolated. Access to the back of it. I, it okay. Any cool. any history of the vehicle is printed out. You know where it was made. The five different funeral homes that it's been owned, um, and roughly 2,000 to 2,500 bodies that have been transported oh, in it. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see if you see if you can get any type of get a name to it. Get a funeral home name. To it. Yeah. You can get anything like that. To it. Okay. Good. You can do that because he's really good at here, and I don't really do that. Yeah, yeah. I'm right there. Well. Again, is this okay? It's a male. Are you the owner of this house? One for yes, two for no. Yes. Are you happy that we're here with you? One for yes, two for no. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Are you going to let us all stay here with you tonight? Yes? Well, that's very nice of you. Thank you. <laughs> right now, we're, we went from 56 down to 50. Temp wise. Staying steady at 50. Is there anybody who used to work out here or live out here? So, give us a sign you're here. Ask if any of the children are out here. Oh, hit that again. We just, I just had a, went up to yellow on my K2 meter. Are there any kids out here? If there's any kids out here we want to play with you, come on out. Talk to us. All you got to do is come right next to this. Well, you can make the lights light up. Any kids want to play? My name's Rob. It's Lisa. It's Michael next to me. Can you talk to us? Any little kids? Come on, don't be scared. 49, 46, 49.5. Like Dropping just a little bit, not much. Would you like to play? Got a game to play with you. This is a little 
box right here. You can make more lights light up. I'm going to back off. Go real close to that and see if you can make a light light up. Talk really loud towards this little box that's in my hand. I'll be able to hear you talk. Number 48. in the attic, recording us, JB's team. Got a little bit of activity up here. We had a bang earlier. Jackson, you still here? Answer me. Did you scratch Kevin? Did you say maybe? It sounded like maybe. Maybe. Uh-huh. I just sleep on the bus tonight. I just said that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jackson, how many slaves are in this house? Jackson, I'm going to put somebody down in the basement and down the Underground Railroad by themselves later on tonight. Are you going to go visit them? Who is it? Who is it? Who is what? Who is what? It's JB. How many spirits are up on them steps watching us through the doorway? Just go out there without setting off the lights, Mike, and just stick it out the door down the steps if you get anything. That sounds like What's a win? You said I'm looking for Frank. Uh, right here. Yeah. You said so. So. Um, yeah. so? Uh -huh. That's Jackson. I want you to tell him, Frank, why can't he make himself appear? Jackson, I want to see you. I want to know you're here. <laughs> Jack. Ooh. Uh huh. He said you're going to get it. That was not nice. He said you're going to get it. Jackson, pull my wife's hair. 
<laughs> so, hey, Jackson, pull, pull, pull somebody's hair, not mine, somebody else's. <laughs> Who's touching my hair? The um, string, Mike. <laughs> I just bumped that, Mike, real quick. I ran into it, too, when I came in. <laughs> Jackson, we're getting ready to go down on the second floor. Are you going to follow us? Too many people. This year it was 50 of us. This year it was only 30. Where are you right now? Floor. Floor. On the floor, Mike. Scan the floor all around. That awful cold up here again. Uh, yes, I feel it. I, I can, I can feel it too. Uh, what he said? He said, who can you trust? Yeah. <laughs> Me? I hear you, Jackson. Who can you trust? Yep. You know what we're doing, Jackson? I didn't understand you. Say it again. Jackson, is Sam up here? Jackson, how do I know you're here? He left. Yeah, he left. He left. Uh huh. Yep. He left. Say something else to him, Frank. Jackson, can you let me know that you're here? Make a noise. Knock on the wall. Kick the floor. Maybe. We're going down on the second floor, Jackson. Follow us down there. I want to talk to Sam also. Okay, guys, we're going to head down to the second floor. Um, Anybody here? If you're here with us, can you come to the light, please? Jackson, you coming back up here now? Your visitor's downstairs. Anybody here today? Caroline? Carolyn? You came to visit. If anyone's here, just come to the light. Tap it. You know that you're here, or make a noise for us. Ask him if they can come to the light in your hand. If you, anybody's in here, can you come to the light in my hand, please? Jackson, you hear? You listened to me before. We just want to talk to you is all. Sam, are you here? Who's Sam? Sam's another... I guess he was a helper. A helper? Carolyn? Jackson? Is this Jackson? Once for yes, twice for no. Tap it. Yes. 
Hi Jackson, how are you? We're upstairs now. It's chilly up here. Is it always this cold up here? Oh, yeah, strong yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like hanging out up here? Yes. Is this your favorite place in the house? Yeah. No? Yes, yes. He said yes. Is your wife here with us, Jackson? We'd like to speak with her. Once for yes, twice for no. Yes, she's here. I, I can feel a coldness on my neck right around here. Yeah, you're 68. And then it just went up to 71. 68. You can come back if you can. I know you're moving around the house pretty quick. We'll come back up here. Need some company. They just went by us. Can you please? They, thank you. Thank you. Is this Jackson? You do once for yes, twice for no. No. Yeah. Oh, was that twice? Yeah. No. Is this Caroline? Yes. Hi, Caroline. Thanks for visiting us here again. If you can, make a noise. Ask, ask if she's standing with us. Caroline, are, she, are you standing with us right now? Once for yes, twice for no. Yes. Nice to have your company. Thank you. Yes. Can you make a noise for us? No. Can you hold my hand? Yes. No, it's a yes, a really strong yes. And right here, it'd be nice to feel you. No. Okay, it's okay. You could pick your favorite person in the They're room. <laughs>
Yes. Go Can on. you make a noise for us? Once for yes, two for no. Do you want us to hide first? Once for yes, two for now. Yes. Yes. Go ahead. Do you want to play tag? No, lost. You went over there? You got it. Oh. Are you still here? Once for yes, two for now. You want to touch this little thing down here that makes lots of pretty, pretty colors. All you gotta do is touch it. Do you want to touch the lights? Don't be afraid of it. It's just a toy. Let me see you touch it. It won't hurt you. Do you want me to touch it first? Once for yes, two for now. Are you standing near it? One for yes, two for no. Touch it for me. Show me you can do it. Show me you can do it before I have to leave. We're going upstairs now. All right, meet us upstairs. Go. We'll go hide. You go find. Come to visit. Want to say hello? I know there's someone here. Come talk to us. Hello? If you're here with us, you can communicate with this box or this box right here. You can say something. <laughs> Please come. I'd like to get to know you. If you can speak, we can hear what you want to say. Hello, how are you? Is this a man? Tap it once for yes, twice for no. Mm -hmm. One. One. Would you like to say something? We can hear you. Are you older? Mm -hmm. Yes. What's your name? We can hear you. You can try to talk to us if you want. No. You don't want to talk? It's okay. Was that a hello? Once for yes, twice for no. Did you just say hello? Alright, we're going to be here if you want to say hello, okay?
Are you a child? Anybody here can come back. Come to the light. Is there someone there? Are we bothering you? Hey, Maria, I want you to ask him. Who's out here? Who's out here? Didn't hear you. Speak up. Sam, are you out here? Sam. Have you seen Sam? No, I, I haven't seen Sam. Where is he? That was a female. Uh huh. Speak up. Speak up a little bit louder. Go ahead. He's coming. Who was Sam, David? Huh? Who was Sam? Sam was one of the workers that we got last year. He worked for Jackson. He hated Jackson. Him and Jackson won't be in the attic together. So that's pretty funny. Whenever Jackson's not up there, Sam's up there. Okay. So yeah, it's really funny. Sam is Jackson around. Speak up. Sam, Sam, what about the gathering? Are you coming to join us? Who's coming, Sam? Pitiful. What's pitiful? Diane asking what's pitiful. What's pitiful, Sam? He hurt me. That's the way Jack, he was very mean. Mm. Mm. Very mean, the owner the of this place. said that Jackson hit him. Very mean, very mean. And he was mean to his workers too. If you look at some of the old pictures of it, the Paymaster Academy, you see the workers working their butts off, white guys, you know? So it wasn't just the slaves, he was mean to all of them. They'd line up over the Paymaster's cabin and hit time wouldn't get paid because he'd tell them he didn't have any money. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, Jackson did Yeah. But it was Jack. Hey, Sam, you know, Jackson didn't like Frank either in our group, our gathering here. You know that, right? He didn't? Oh, no, he didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't, Sam. He said he's going to get me. Should I be afraid? Almost sounded like he said, you better leave. Uh -huh. Sam, he should I something. be afraid? He laughed. He laughed. That was saying he's laughing. <laughs> Just saying, is Jackson an old fart? Is Jackson an old fart, Sam? Ask him what he did to him. Sam, is Jackson an old fart?
Yeah, we're listening. I said, you listening? Because so he's probably talking. He's, just, he's not coming through. You got to speak louder, Sam, and you got to touch the white light all the way. I want you to guys ask, see if somebody's in the hearse with us. Is someone in the hearse with us? Any spirits in here with us? Like you. Oh, like me. Is anyone here with us? They must not like our group. Anyway. Go ahead, Frank. Ask more questions. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who's here? Am I alone? Must have followed them. David, right. yeah, I was just going to say that. They followed them. Maybe you can't get a reception in there? Should, they got there. No, they were, they were getting reception before. Yeah, it's almost like they got out and they, right, uh -huh. they followed them. They followed them because there's nothing. Very little. And that was probably a radio. Who's here? You need to talk to me now. You want me to leave the women in this funeral car and leave? All the males go down here to the stables? Yes or no? Please. Yeah. Yeah, please. So, guess what, ladies? <laughs> Are you going to talk to them? You want the ladies to stay in here by themselves with the doors shut. Please. Please. Mom to get out of the car. 
line is Jackson nice to you it's yes. almost like whenever you get too personal they leave no it's a Right? Are we all getting in? At the same time. Can you turn the go-go lights on? <laughs> the go-go lights on. <laughs> no, we don't have them hooked up right now. Oh, damn. So you guys this had a double pretty, body though. Left earlier? Yeah. No, actually, it hasn't actually been in professional yeah, use old. since February of wow. 2012. Why? Because um, it's, it's now privately owned. It's not owned by a funeral home anymore. So what do you do with it? Um, parades, car shows, uh, a guy <laughs> wanted his daughter put in. But when I moved it, it went away. Yep, that's not on either. Okay, I know somebody's touching it, right? Touching what? The car. Okay. No? She said yes. Who's touching the car? No one's touching the car. Nobody was. Nobody. No. Nobody over here. No, no, she's, she's no, over she's there about the four side. feet from the car. Did you feel that? No. Is he doing it now again? It's moving. Is it moving or is it my imagination? Well, she had just, she moved okay. with inside the car and caused it to shake. Or did she? This <laughs> <laughs> guy. Scared yet? <laughs> You're not a man, you know that. Did you guys feel anything? Hear anything? And for me, it felt like someone was to my right, but it's not nothing that I heard. Right. I just felt like there was something Standing to there. my right. Okay. okay. Put her down there. I just saw the spirit box here. They were beside us and back there. So, and then Nikki said she saw a shadow when I walked back here with you, you guys. They were coming out of the back room. She said she saw a shadow following me. Oh, great. So, I was there after you. Yeah, it's like the same one that was after me and Dennis last year down here. Oh, so, wow. We had one follow us from each room and room. That's what I wanted to do was split your days up back here. Now I got Frank and Frankie Jr. back there. In the back room. <laughs> Remember what, what? We're going to get behind this wall. Okay, guys, you guys come back in. Did you feel anything at all? Any sensations? 
Yeah, tickling my ear. Oh, really? And my face gun. I don't know. No, my so, legs are in my pocket. The thing is, is what I, I did an experiment with ladies and with men, with them saying they're going to scratch us. I wanted to see if he was going to distinguish if he was just a little boy, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, I think you tickled your ear and you scratch it. But, you know, behold, you don't be surprised if tomorrow you wake up and you scratch someone on the pocket. Maybe, I hope yeah, so. I want to yeah. see it. I um, think Jackson was afraid of me. I know. <laughs> That's an F them, JD. I might hit nothing. You went the other room, didn't you? You're in that room right there because I just saw you. And I bet you Michael got you on the camera. There was something going to some lights. I got some walking in front of it. Did you see him? Yeah. Again. Yeah, so you can get anything. Here's that raccoon touch my REM pod early, and you can touch it again. The one above the power button. Try AM. Get better with 
Jackson down the air. Jackson, are you here? Yes, let him in here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a camera. We don't need him in here. Yeah, make sure your hair is okay. What hair? I can't even see you. He's got short hair. Rub your hands on his hair. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Shut up. You're killing my leg. You know? No. Let me sit on you. Come poke her. Talk to yours, Megan. You're trying to nail the wall. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> what? I think you just laughed. You just laugh at her? No. Mm -hmm. I told Megan to talk to her light. I don't hear her saying anything. That's probably why you <laughs> laughed. <laughs> Jackson, go feel Michael's head. Let me know if you like his haircut. Did you shave today, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have a goatee and a beard. Sorry. Jackson was saying how you like men with goatees, beards. Oh, good thing. <laughs> Sorry, Jackson, but uh, I'm on the other side. He left. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I guess we should go downstairs. So yeah. We're gonna have about five minutes. So. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to bed. Did you work for Jackson? 
Did you like Jackson? Was he nice to you? I think Sam before Sam said he was about 19. Oh, he was 19? Oh. Young. Sam, if you're still here, can you make a noise for us? Can you bang on something? Is anybody in here can please light up the lights on the meter over there? Standing next to me. Were you just standing next to me? Once for yes, twice for no. Yes. Is there anybody else in here with you? Do you like us being here? Thank you. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Have you been dead for a long time? When did he die? Did your did your transformation happen recently? Stable boy. Oh. Worked in the stables and worked around the yards. He said oh, he liked us being here. I don't know if it was him before then, but when we asked if it was Jackson, he said no. And, uh, so. He got hip in here too. Before. Mm -hmm. Something smacked his leg. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It is 2.45 in the morning. We've been pumping for four or five hours. Guests are tired. JB is tired. We're going to interview a few guests, interview the lead investigator, see what's happening. We have a lot of activity tonight. I can't wait to go through the evidence. Time to rock. Turn off. All right, this is Frank. Frank. Frank, Frank, Frank. What do you think about this investigation? It was very interesting. Uh, I didn't have any personal activity, but we picked up a lot of stuff on the um, meters, and we did speak to a few spirits. So it was it was pretty good. Even had one that didn't like you, did you? Yes. And his name was what? Uh, what was Jackson. His name? Jackson. That's right. The yeah. owner. The owner of the house. house. Yeah, Jackson didn't like me. Asked me to leave several times and said he was going to get me. Yep. That's yep. what he did to me last year. So now you got to pick with somebody else. <laughs> I was hoping he scratched me, but yeah, we tempted him, but he wouldn't do it. Nope. So hopefully he doesn't scratch me when I go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. Thanks, Frank. You're welcome. Appreciate it. Pleasure. Well, well, well. Apprentice Nikki, come on up here, young lady. This is Nikki. Nikki was also part of our isolation. Um, so Nikki, what did you think about the whole investigation tonight? It was really cool. I mean, I got a lot. Of, I got a lot of stuff. The attic, I got a lot of activity, and outside by the fire pit area, and the basement, actually. Everywhere. 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 Good, good, good. So, isolation, what did you think about that? It's creepy, isn't it? It was creepy. I mean, I was cool for like the first 10 minutes. Like, I like the dark. I'm a dark person, so I was like, whatever. And then, like, I kept seeing people, like, look in to the side. So I was like, all right, you guys can come in if you want. And then I kind of let... A really evil black entity and I saw it on the ground crawling towards me so I was like go away and like I told you to go away so it slowly started to back away so like cool it was creepy though all right so you had a blast huh? yeah it was, it was intense yeah. thank you thank you yeah. <laughs> come on in I'm here so Alex yes. what did you think about tonight it's awesome like um, I had a lot of experiences with um, the flashlights and I felt like pains in my neck um, when we asked them to attack us. <laughs> um, yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> cool. So, next time you're going to be isolated, right? Uh, <laughs> about all that, right? Not so sure about that. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Well, 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 Frankie Jr. Did you get scratched? No, but I did get tickled on the ear. He did, you know, yeah. and what we're thinking is Jackson knew that he was a young man and didn't want to scratch him, so me and your dad are worried you're wrong. Yeah. wake up with scratches all over him all right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what did you think about tonight? It was, it was, I, I thought it was fun. No, I'll do this again. Cool. In Good. December. Yeah. I'll probably be here. Cool. Shh, shh. All right, man. Good. Thank you. Thank you, Jamie. All right. Uh, you know what? Your name must be Christina. It is. See, I don't forget nothing. <laughs> Get over here. All right. Okay. So, what did you think about tonight? I had a very interesting experience. Yeah, what was that? I had my hair touched in my dorm room. I was tugged while we were doing an experiment. Do you know that we were told to stay out of the dorm rooms by the spirits when we came here? I don't know, so that they don't want to be annoyed. So what I was thinking that they don't want to be annoyed because they were setting up to scare you guys when you sleep. That's what I'm thinking. So you had fun, huh? I did. Was you scared at all? Not yet. What? Oh my god, you're gonna be isolated next time. <laughs> right? Nope. <laughs> nope. There's a reason I'm not scared yet. That's why, because you're not dumb, right? Thank you. I'm glad you had fun. Well, well you look tired. I'm cold. Step on here. So. What did you think about tonight? Well, if you don't believe, you would after tonight. I can say that much. A lot of good things, huh? Yes. Especially Frank getting jacked up by Mr. Jackson. Oh, yeah. He did not <laughs> like him at all. Did you have any other experiences tonight? Um, we were in our room downstairs, and Stephanie was doing the flashlight. And boy, was someone very active. A child was playing with the flashlight and actually walked in front of it. Cool. So you can see the shadow. Yeah. Good. So it was yep. it was pretty cool and how bright that the spirit got that flashlight. Mm. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you.
crazy, man. Yeah. Got a, uh, people got touched, people got scratched. We got the hearse rock, somebody hit the hearse and they moved it. Yeah. Um, shadow figures? Man, it was crazy. Got some good stuff. Awesome night, wasn't it? Yeah, it was cool. It was definitely Ghost of Hollis School. What do you think, Mike? What do you think about tonight, Mike? It was good. I'm going by. It was good going by what everybody saw and experienced and watching everybody. I had a very good time. Whoa, all right, man. Well, you heard it right from the cameraman, Mafia Mike. <laughs> we are wrapping up here tonight at the mansion. Ghost of Hollis crew. Come back and see us again because we are always on top and we always get the best. What do you think about that, Dennis? But, but the best. Are you going to sleep tonight? That's right, you're going to go on. You little. <laughs> I'm not going to sleep. Right, man. Next one. <laughs> see ya. Yeah. Good. Good.